In this video, we'll go through what a request is and how to set one up. Requests are the main piece of Content Snare. They are basically just a group of information or content that you need from the client. You assign a follow up schedule to a request, and then Content Snare will email your client automatically to get that request completed. If you sent two requests to the same client, they'll receive follow ups for both of those requests. But you can always have different follow up schedules for each request. There isn't a strict definition of what goes into a request. We've left it open so that you can do whatever works for you. We'll go into an example shortly, but first, just a bit about the components and how requests work. When creating a request, you give it a name, a due date, and a client. If this is for a new client, you can create one right here. The internal switch is used if you're just using this as a place for your team to enter content. In this case, the client wouldn't get any access and they won't get any follow-up emails. However, you will still get the follow-up emails. It's also useful for testing out Content Snare for the first time. If you're breaking a larger project down into several requests, you might want to use projects. Otherwise, the default project is fine. The request template option allows you to reuse previously saved requests. We'll dig into this into the templates video. We won't use one here. The communications template tells Content Snare which rules to use to send emails to your clients. Check out the follow ups video for more info on that, but for now, we'll just stick with the default. So let's build the request. You can break a request down into tabs. Inside those tabs are sections, and inside those sections are fields. Fields can be anything from this left-hand panel. You might use a simple text field for a heading, or a file upload if you need a PDF from your client. Check out the field types video where I go into depth on each field type. If you ever want to duplicate or delete things, you can duplicate or delete tabs here, sections here, and fields here. So let's get into that example. A simple one is a five page website. Most people would create a single request for this. Then you can break it down so that each page is a tab. So maybe we'll have a home page, an about page, and a contact to start with. Then for each major section on the page, we'll create a section in Content Snare. If you're using a page builder, you might be familiar with the term row. Each row would just be a section in Content Snare. Let's start with the header. A typical hero header might have a headline. That's a simple text field. Uh, we'll need a hero image to go behind it. Your client might not know what a hero image means, so you could write them some instructions by ticking the box and typing. One step further is uploading an image to demonstrate what it looks like in practice. You could use wireframes, mockups, diagrams, or anything you want here to make it easier for your client to understand. In the instructions area, you can also add links and formatting if you need to. Let's finish off the header with a call to action button. We'll just need the text. And add some instructions. Next, let's add a services section that comes right after the header. For this, we'll just create a new blank section. In that, we'll add a field because it'll need its own headline and we'll allow for three services. Each of these will need its own subheadline and some formatted text. Some people call this a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, or a text editor. It just allows your client to format the text that they need. I'll create service two and three by duplicating the two fields we just made for the first service. You would then continue adding sections until you've added everything you need for the home page. Now, let's add an about page. We've previously created an about page and saved it as a template that you can add to your project, 
This is built into Content Snare. So, we'll simply add a new tab from that template, choosing the About page. It's created all the sections and fields from this template. While we're at it, let's save our hero header as a section template so we can use it again for another client later. When everything is ready, hit the publish button and it will send it to your client and begin following up. And that's how you create a request.